Why would you want to buy a house? Because you're tired of paying rent to somebody else. That rent money that you are paying to someone else, they're taking that exact same money and buying down their mortgage to make it smaller and smaller and smaller. So when they go to sell it, they get to capitalize and keep all that gain that you paid down for them. So the reason why you want to buy a house is so that you are paying down that equity. When you sell it for 600 and the house is only, you know, you only owe 250 on it, then you get to make that $350,000 payday. Or you can keep paying rent at two, three thousand dollars a month, paying down someone else's mortgage. And when they go to sell that house for six hundred thousand dollars and they owe two fifty, and all your hard-earned money paid that mortgage down to two fifty, so they can make three hundred fifty thousand dollars. Well, then, you know, when you pay that rent money, it's just gone forever. It's just the silliest thing. So instead of paying rent money, put that more money against a mortgage so that you buy down that mortgage. So when you sell that house for 600, you know, if you buy it down to 200, you're gonna make $400,000 in one day. And then you take that money, you grow into a larger home, you take that money, you start your business, seed money for your business, you can invest that money however you want. But you have your job that pays you $100,000 a year, you should be doing something else, rewarding your hard work, buying a home. Like I said, you pay down that the mortgage, you sell it, you capitalize on all that equity. You can take that two, three, four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars and go invest in whatever you want to invest in. And a lot of people, that's how they grow into a larger home. Funny thing is, is all these three, four hundred, five hundred thousand dollar homes. Those are the ones that have mortgages on them. If your home is a million, two million dollars very few of those homes carry a mortgage and they definitely don't carry a mortgage for a million two million bucks most of the time most of those homes are paid off through equity starting small and smaller homes paying those homes off paying those homes down and growing into larger homes i know it's very popular with grant cardones the world say don't buy a home rent your home and what he's saying really is invest that money in your business if you have a good business idea that can make you a decamillionaire overnight, yeah, you should be investing in your business, but paying rent is stupid. Paying rent is just ludicrous, 100% rent. You only pay the rent, number one, if there's huge tax advantages to it. You only pay the rent if you're you know, going to, in, you, you should own some property. You should not just be paying rent. You should own something. Someone should be paying you rent. You should be collecting rent. Or you can pay yourself through home ownership, like I was just saying. How to buy a home. Obviously, got to have a job. Yes, we all start out working for, you know, well underpaid doing all the hard work. I started out working at a golf course when I was 16 years old. I started working on a farm when I was like eight, nine, 10 years old, but you got to have a good paying job. I would say no less than $50,000 a year, but really you should be trying to hit a hundred thousand dollars a year. Get a job that pays you well in, in, in the route of getting that job that pays you well. You should be accumulating good credit, credit cards, paying off, you know, whatever student loans you have. Anyways, pay off your debts, keep your debts low or pay them off entirely. Every time you trade in a car, you know, it shows this one line of credit, you know, to that auto loan for the Tahoe is paid off. Now the, 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 the auto loan for the Lamborghini is going to be on there. Then you pay that off. And then, you know, those show good lines of credit. Uh, you know, obviously if you pay them every month and on time, but you need to be building good credit from a young age. Keep your credit card debt small, manageable. I honestly don't even carry any credit card debt. I pay it off every single month. I, I really hate credit cards, but I understand the purpose of them. Very good for protection, you know, if you're gonna be shopping online and stuff, uh, just can be very dangerous. Don't hurt yourself with the credit cards because it is very possible. And number three, get a good agent. This is how you buy a home. Call an agent. If an agent in your area, feel free to call us. We're in Scottsdale, Arizona. We service almost all parts of Arizona. But call in a real estate agent in your area. You can call us and we'll direct you to one that we know and trust in your area. Someone that cares. Someone that cares enough to sit down with you, have a conversation, and say, hey, this is your job. You're working here. You've been there two years, five years, 10 years. You're wanting to take the next step. You're taking yourself more serious and you wanna get in position to buy a home. And not only do you wanna get in position to buy a home, you don't wanna just buy a home, oh my gosh, I can buy a home today, go buy a home today. You wanna to take you know, two, three, four, six months to do it to get your credit in best position to get you tier one financing. And 
sometimes, you know, there's buyers out there that can qualify for a house today and they go buy a house tomorrow with a 600 credit score, 580, 640, 650. Whereas if you would have put six months of work into your credit and got yourself to like a 700, 680, just get up a few more tiers so you get a little bit better financing, a little bit better terms. It's just gonna save you a ton of money in the long run. But when you're doing everything last minute, and you're not calling anybody, you're, you're just kind of doing it on your own, this is what happens to you. Don't be afraid to pick up the phone. Like I said, call an agent. If you don't call an agent, you should call a lender. One of those two people will be able to connect you with the other. I'm a real estate agent. I work with just a handful of lenders, lenders that I know and trust, lenders that I would trust with my family. So um, the lender, you know, is the trusted advisor of mine. Like I said, I, I know her and I trust her with my family. Actually, most of my family, I think they did almost all of their deals through this lender because we trust them. It is such a large amount of money. When you look at a locked loan estimate, if in my eyes with my education, I'm like, wow, they could be making a fortune on me right now and I wouldn't even know it. That's why it's so important that you work with a trusted advisor, someone that can help explain everything. Someone that will take time to explain everything to you, help you navigate these waters. But you can call me for any help with any of these three steps. If you need a better job, I have traveled the hardest road possible to get to where I'm at today. I had uh, you know, a rough time in my 20s, bouncing from job to job to job, and uh, I started from making you know, literally no money to I got myself to $80,000 a year, I got myself to $100,000 a year, I got myself to 100, 200, all the way to you know, almost $600,000 a year. And I can coach you along those ways and who, you know, what mentors you should be listening, what books you should be reading, who you should be following, and, uh, and how to grow your income. And I'm gonna tell you, it's not easy, it is hard, uh, but you tackle a lot of fears, you grow along the way so that you can handle all of these responsibilities. But the credit, I can help you with the credit too, but it's gonna have to be you doing action, all right? I will put you in contact with credit repair companies. I'll put you in contact. We can, if you're open for it, we can go through your credit together and we can tackle it together because I want you to get A1 financing. A1 financing gets you 720, 720 plus, uh, get you top tier financing so you're paying the least amount of interest. But also don't be afraid to pay interest because you, you, you're, they say date your rate. Your interest rate's temporary you're gonna refinance that interest rate as soon as, you know, like if we're heading into a recession, they always lower the interest rates to boost the economy. So you're gonna refinance that home as soon as they lower the interest rates, all right? So don't be so afraid of the interest rates. Most of us write off the interest anyway on our taxes. It's not a terrible thing. But sales price on a home, that's my job. I do the absolute best I can. Uh, we just put a client under contract literally today. The list price was $740,000. We got the client under contract at well ninety two thousand dollars off of the asking price, and uh, that's going to save quite a bit of money on the mortgage payment every month. It saves them ninety two thousand dollars. So when they go to sell that home, they're going to make an additional ninety two thousand dollars just by using our services. Whereas if they just would have walked up, knocked on the door, spoke to the listing agent, and that listing agent's going to try to sell them for seven forty the original list price. But anyways, God bless. If you guys have any questions on how to buy a home, this can be a home that you live in. This can be an investment property. This can be any sort of real estate. You guys can feel free to call me 480-740-1839. 480-740-1839. God bless. I'm telling you, I've had people ask me to come sell insurance, uh, obviously cars, automobiles. I absolutely love real estate and I don't see myself ever leaving this because of how much I just naturally love real estate from, I saw how my grandfather changed our entire family tree. So whether you're buying a home, buying farm ground, buying investment property, I'm telling you, you can always reach out to me. I'll give you advice as if you're buying it here in Arizona, I can connect you with local experts in your market. And uh, like I said, God bless, I'm just happy to be a part of it. I wanna see you grow through real estate the same way I'm going through real estate. Like, follow, subscribe if you wanna see more informational real estate videos.